Hello and welcome to Dog Day Chess. In this episode we're going to look at situations where you're left with insufficient material to checkmate. If neither player has enough material to checkmate the other, a player can immediately claim a draw. The main combinations that qualify as insufficient material are when you're left with just two kings, or a king and a bishop against a king, or a king and a knight against a king. It's impossible for the side with the knight or the bishop to checkmate the other side. If you're left with a king and two knights against the king, then that does not qualify as insufficient material, because although it's insufficient material to force a mate, it's still possible to mate if the defending side plays poorly. For example, after white moves his knight to e7 with check, if the black king moves to the corner, then white can checkmate the black king. However, if the white king instead moves to f8, then a checkmate is not possible. So with this combination, a draw cannot immediately be claimed. If there's enough time on each player's clock, and the side with the knights insists on playing on, then with proper play by the defending side, the game will eventually be drawn because of the 50-move rule. Let's look at some examples of this from real games. In this game, I'm playing black, and I've got a rook and an advanced pawn against my opponent's two rooks. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to beat the two white rooks unless I was able to safely promote the pawn. And I knew that that wouldn't be possible with the two white rooks watching over it. So I decided to play a combination that would result in a draw by forcing us into a position with insufficient material. I played rook to c7, skewering the king to the rook. Now, this doesn't win the rook, but it does force the exchange. And now my king can move to attack the remaining rook. If the rook moves away to safety, then I can promote my pawn, and after the exchange, we're left with just two kings. What actually happened in the game was the rook just captured my pawn and I captured the rook, and the game was drawn because of insufficient material. In this game, I'm playing black, and the black pawn is moving up the board, and the white pawn is about to promote. It's white's move, and white does promote to a queen. This leaves me with no choice but to exchange, and at this point, we agreed to draw. My king is closer to the black pawn than the black king, and my bishop is controlling h3, so there's no way that black pawn will safely get past that point. If we were to play it through, then either my king or my bishop would capture that pawn before it promoted. And here we're left with insufficient material to checkmate. This last example has a very interesting ending to a long, hard-fought game. I'm playing white, and my two passed pawns are quite advanced, but the black king is holding them at bay. Uh, however, on the other side of the board, my king is staring down at these three connected passed pawns. But I was able to find the move that would draw the game. And the key move involved sacrificing some material. Here I sacrificed my knight for two pawns. I captured the f pawn, and after the black knight captured my knight, I captured the e pawn. After this exchange, black has only one remaining pawn, and the knight is now tied down to the defense of that pawn, because if that pawn gets captured, black will not have sufficient material to mate. In the game, instead of moving the knight to safety, black pushed that pawn, knowing that if my king captured that knight, that pawn would be home free. But I stayed with the pawn, and black pushed again, and I stayed with it. And here we agreed to draw, because if black pushes the pawn one more square, my king can capture it, leaving black with insufficient material to checkmate. Alternatively, if the black knight were to move away from the defense of this pawn to attack my pawns, then again my king would be able to capture black's last remaining pawn, and if we play this through a few more moves, we'll see that neither side has sufficient material to checkmate. So those were a few examples of games that were drawn because of insufficient material, and sometimes, if you're behind, you may be able to play into such a position in order to draw the game. As always, I hope you learned something from this episode, and thanks for watching.